week match. Quick match, quick match.
The Lord be with you. May we need to pray. Enter it. Stand. The before I found you in the world, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart to the nations. of a
Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. With all your mind and with all your strength, this is the first commandment. On these two commandments hang all the law and prophets. Only Son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, friendly resort to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling on our knees. Together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we are sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are not sufficiently walk according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ. We have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who to repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Call it for eighth Sunday after three. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, you, say, you see that we have no power of ourselves to help ourselves keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. reading is taken from the book from verse 4 Jeremiah 2 from verse 4 O house of Jacob and all the families of the house of Israel thus says the Lord what injustice have your fathers found in me that they have gone far from me have become idolaters. Neither did they say, where is the Lord? Who brought us up out of the land of Egypt? Who led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and pits? 
through a land of droughts and the shadow of death, through a land that no one crossed and where no one dwelt. I brought you into a bountiful country to eat its fruits and its goodness. But when you entered, you defied my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, where is the Lord? And those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers also transgressed against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit. Therefore, I will yet bring charges against you, says the Lord, and against your children's children, I will bring charges. For pass beyond the coasts of Cyprus and see, send to Kida and consider dignity. And see if there has been such a thing. Has a nation changed its gods, which are not gods? But my people have changed their glory, for what does not profit? Be astonished, O heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord.
the Jews to depart from Rome. And was of the same crowd, and he bought with them. Occupation, they were tent makers. And the reason and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. Silas and Timothy were come from Macedonia. Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews uh, that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own hair. I am clean, for from henceforth I will go. He departed thence and entered into the city. Worship God, whose house joined her to the synagogues. And Crippus, the chief on the law, with all his house. And many of the Corinthians hearing believed and were baptized. Then spoke the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Be not afraid. But speak and day, and no man for I have much people in this city, and he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. This is the word of the Lord. Congratulate him. The Holy Gospel is written 
in the gospel recorded by St. Mark, chapter 6, commence reading from the 21st verse. opportunity time came on his birthday. Herod gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came ask me for anything you want and I will give you She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once the girl hurried in to the king. On a dish, the king was greatly distressed, but because of his oath, want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head. The man went, beheaded John in prison, and brought back his head on a dish to the girl. John's disciples came to Lord be claimed and the award only shall be received heard and believed and followed with the heart of obedience and faith in the name of God the Father please be seated turn with me to Isaiah Isaiah chapter 40. Why do you say, O oh Jacob, my way is hidden from the Lord, is passed over by my God, You not heard the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Who waits on the Lord shall with wings like eagles, they shall run weary, they shall walk and not faint the word of the Lord we God
for such an opportunity and an occasion as this given to us as God's people to come together to celebrate one of us and also to present ourselves afresh unto God. We congratulate our Father in God, Archbishop Alexander and Mama Martha Ibezim. The Lord will continue to be your strength day by day. He will. Purpose that which he has spoken and his counsel concerning you shall stand in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to greet all our fathers in God, the archbishops and bishops of the Church of Nigeria. We appreciate this show of love for one of us. We thank God. God Take us home safely in the name of Jesus. We want to to our Father in God, the pioneer bishop, a general in the lost army who had spearheaded some of the things we have celebrated through last week. Maxwell and Ikwenwa, the deal. <laughs> Even in your old age, you will continue to bear fruit and be to appreciate the executive governor of Anambra State. Professor Charles Soludo. I think his uh, distinct mantra is the solution is here. So we are indeed very grateful. We thank you for your security, your hospitality, and the Archbishop and indeed the ministry of the Lord will continue to stand by you and uphold you in the name of Jesus. Let one of us the great Senator Ifai Okowa the running mate of the presidential candidate of the PDP. and elders in our midst. Time with them. One. of Oka team and indeed we appreciate you all. Let us also welcome the Registrar of the Church of Nigeria, <laughs> Barrister Dr. Abraham Yisa. You are all welcome. Every one of you here, the gallant knights and their ladies, the dames of our church, 
the Lord will continue to strengthen your arm for greater battles of the faith in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank all of you. As we come together to celebrate the faithfulness of God in a time that is so challenging, as we look around, sometimes you wonder, is there anything for us to rejoice for? But one thing is sure, no matter whatever we are passing through in this nation, we know one thing. The Lord has promised us in Malachi 3.6, he says, I am the Lord, I change not. And therefore you sons of Jacob, who are the sons of Jacob, generation of Jacob, they that seek the Lord with all their heart. God has promised that if we shall seek him with all our heart, we shall find him. And he says, as we seek him in this challenging time, he says, you sons of Jacob, you shall not be consumed. Nigeria shall not be consumed. That contentions will surely come. Trials will surely come. But we are believing God that who, he who has kept us up until now will keep us through this trying time. And brethren, as David says in Second Samuel, at such a time as this, when the hearts of men fell them, when we wonder whether God has abandoned us, when we even complain like the Jews complained, in where we read in Isaiah chapter 40, they say it seems that God has abandoned us and the, the, our due has passed over us. It seems that God does not remember or answer our prayer anymore. But hear what David said. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my strength in whom I will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation. My savior shall I be saved from my enemies. Amen. In the midst of the debacle and, th and throne around us, Brothers and sisters, I want you to hold the point where we have given up. May we be made in an Ambra state. We appreciate God. For some of us, there are places we every one of us, our destiny and the destiny of our children. If it is like this with us now, what will be the destiny or the future of my grandchildren, of your grandchildren? Where will they be? For their sake, God will arise. And as the psalmist says in Psalm 68 verse 1, Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered. May they melt as wax melts before the fire. As the wind blows and scatters the, the, the cloud, O Lord, arise. At such a time as this, Stand strong. Don't give up. Continue to pray. David says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. And as I call upon him, he will arise to fight our battles. As King Shinashrib failed in his siege over Jerusalem, 
the enemies of this nation and our states will fail. Amen. 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 And so therefore, our brothers and sisters, we come today even though we are passing through trials and tribulations, we shall still hold on to the living God. Even if your faith is as small as the mustard seed, even if it is need to make any foolish promise. What you need is strength. And even if you forget everything that I have spoken the word of the Lord to you is coming from Isaiah that word is be renewed in strength and saw Every other thing, remember that the message of God be renewed in strength and saw. Name of Jesus. But you know, when are you? When we look at Genesis chapter 47, verses 10, the verses 7, when Joseph, when Joseph took Jacob, his father, 
to greet Pharaoh. Jacob was how old and Jacob answered and the days of my sojourn of my pilgrimage are 130 years. The days of the years of my life, my life had boomed. The life of my fathers in their pilgrimage. You, how old are you? It is not just the It is an opportunity for every one of us to, ask, to make an assessment of our life. Whether we are still within the plan and purpose of God. No wonder the psalmist says, teach us to number our days. That we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Our Father, are you hearing me? So, this should be a moment, a sober moment of reflection. Assessing how far you have gone. And I want to tell you, by the word of God, in Genesis chapter 5, you are age, you are already halfway. Because the word of God says that we shall live for 120 years. Are you hearing me? But Moses in his psalm, in Psalm 90, said that we will live, we, a man can struggle and live for 70, and even by much trial, 80. I want to tell you, your own, our own, in fact, don't accept 70. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> By the time you get to 70, you have balance. By the time you are 60, you are halfway of what God has already proposed. You for my time. You will not die before your time. You will live goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I have my bones shall not be broken. And I say, Lord, it shall not be my portion. That I will die before my time. I say, Lord, I will fulfill my days. It may not reach 70. It may not reach 120. But all I know is that the enemy will not cut me short. And he will not cut you short. And even if it has been that your father died at 45, your grandfather died at 60, and your people tell you that your own may not reach 50, I am telling you that because Jesus has died on the cross of Calvary and he has canceled every cause, he has canceled by the blood of the new covenant, you are set free. And if the Son of God shall set you free, you are free indeed. Untimely death shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. You will not bury your young you will live to the fullness of your age and you will rejoice in what God has done continually in the name of Jesus Christ. As we assess our, our years, it reminds us also that we are strangers and pilgrims on earth. You know, some of us live as though we, 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 we have arrived. We are strangers on us. I don't No matter how you enjoy the business in the market, you will never sleep in the market. And you know those who sleep in the market. <laughs> I 
and they are not one of those. Amen. Amen. Our real home is in heaven. Even Abraham, having received the promise of land and, and being made a nation, the Bible says that even when he entered the land of promise, he lived. For a city whose was not ashamed of them. God will not be ashamed of you. But the only thing that will make God not to be ashamed of you is for you to know that you are passing by. And our real home, where we will be much more concerned with, will be the things of heaven. we believe with our hearts though now we have not received yet we expect with great expectation and that expectation that hope will not fail us and anyone who has that expectation will live to please him who forever is God amen, amen. praise the Lord amen. and so Baba, as you celebrate, may your heart be fixed where the real joy and life is. And he who called you will never leave you nor forsake you. We have come to know this, this man born on the 5th of August, 1962. And uh, as he prays with his eyes open, <laughs> so if you are doing only watching and you are not praying, something will go wrong. And if you are if you are <laughs> if you are if you are praying and you are not watching, which most of us are doing. We believe that God will come down and vote that day. And the story, the narrative of Nigeria must change when you determine that it will change. Are you hearing me? So be involved to be a man that is I said it sometime last, last week. As you see him walk around like that, he is calculating. Don't take him for granted. He told me of this Thanksgiving last year, one year ago. Which means that he has already calculated. You know, for some of us, we are fire brigades. But this man takes time to plan it and invest in it. You know, some people have accused him of not being able to do anything in the diocese. He has been dashing their money away because he's a caring pastor. In fact, for some of us in the north, we appreciate. If I tell you the bishops from the north here, if I tell you the number from Sokoto to Damatru, they are here. Why taking that risk? Is, okay, how much will you give them that will cover the risk? It is because this man has sacrificed as a caring pastor and bishop. He has gone to most of those places. He has been to Gombe when I was in Gombe. He was in Lantan. He has gone to so many other. When 
Archbishop Mani died in Medugri. He was the only bishop from the east that came for that burial. So why wouldn't we love him? He's a man that builds relationship. He cherishes it. And even when you confront him when he goes wrong, he humbles himself, he accepts his fault, and he makes amends. He will follow you until you forgive him. <laughs> but with what we did last week, since Thursday I arrived, I have been dedicating one thing from one thing to the other. And the first one we dedicated was the Renaissance Modern Polytechnic. I was asking Oka, Imande Oka Abunduzo, Oka, do you have any polytechnic? Nduzo, Uno Uno Technical. Or university of polytechnic. In of polytechnic, he is recovering the essence of the Igbo man, the Oka man. That is the essence, restoration. And he called it Renaissance, restoration. And I'm believing God that by that move, lives will be changed. God will raise. encouragement amen let that polytechnic restore what and dedicated the school of nursing millennial school of nursing and I I can see God opening doors. We dedicated the faculty of law building. We dedicated the Anglican village where the Archbishop's Palace and the Queen's Convent and other institutions are located where our children are nurtured. We dedicated the University Chapel of Redemption at UNIZIC, which had been built for 10 years. And this is the 11th year. Thank Baba and Ikwenwa for that vision. Amen. And so, brethren, as we celebrate this man, today is a moment of affirming your faith and our faith collectively in this God who has done great things. And as we celebrate your life, we say God has done great things unto you and your family. God has done great things for this diocese. And God has done great things for our people. Glory be to God. As we come in thanksgiving before the Lord, we give thanks unto the living God for being there with you. We express our gratitude for God's mercies. And thirdly, we are coming before the Lord today as a day of rededication and consecration unto the Almighty God. Just so, and forget not his benefits. Strength, who renews your life, who heals your diseases. I pray that as you celebrate today, because of the goodness of the Lord in your life, you will rededicate yourself to Him. Amen. Surrender all completely. He will order your steps and He will carry you through in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. But, brethren, considering the context of this thanksgiving like the Israel of old 
Nigeria. In Isaiah 40, the Israelites and while they were in exile, all their dreams and expectations vanished before their eyes. Just as businesses are vanishing now. For more than how many months our children are at home. And whether you like it or not, people are, are, are sliding into despondency. Nobody knows what will happen the next moment. Even we who are in Abuja, we are afraid. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> they, they do tell our stories now. Uh, between this place and this place, there is a camp inside the bush. Now lie. <laughs> Only to create fear. And you know, fear is the instrument of the enemy. Are you hearing me? And that is why in the Bible we have more, we have about 365 fear not. Which means every looks at his face and say, I saw my daughter fear be courageous. May you receive strength to stand to the house of Jacob, the people of God said, my way is hidden from the Lord and my just claim is passed over by my God. Maybe you have come to the point where you think that everything is gone. You have nothing to fight for. You have nothing to live for. The Lord is saying, don't judge God by your human standards. Amen. Amen. Don't judge God by what is happening in Nigeria. I want you to know that our failure is not God's failure. Even if we are faithless, God remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. And if he will allow us to suffer, he will not, he that will lead you through the, to, into the valley of the shadow of death, see him as your shepherd. If he will lead you into the valley of the shadow, he will take you out. Are you hearing me? That is why David says, thy rod and thy staff compass around me. I will fear no evil. Your heart may be telling you that you, it will not materialize. Do not listen to the voice of fear. The Lord will lead you through. And even if he does not lead you through, he will make a way for you. Are you hearing me? The politicians that are here, I want to encourage you. If you don't get it this year, you will get it in another time. It is not a do or die. The life of a man does not consist in the abundance of his possession. It is, does not consist in his own position. Are you hearing me? These things are ephemeral. They will come and they will go. They come by choice. For the battle is not for the strong and the race is not for the swift. It is for all those whom God has given. And so let us acknowledge his sovereignty and surrender unto him. Amen. God's sovereignty is still there. Some people may say, God, if you don't answer me, I will no longer pray. Even if you don't pray, he will still remain God. Are you hearing me? It does not remove anything from him. Nobody can dethrone him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. He is the only one that has power to raise or to bring down. He has power to give and to take back. To kill and to give life. And God will walk in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. This God 
is the God of impossibilities. And the only way we can unlock the impossibilities of God is by faith. Don't be like these Jews in Isaiah chapter 40. They say, God has forgotten us. We are finished. We are good for nothing. It is not yet over until God says it is over. Don't give up. Amen. Amen. For with God all things are possible. I want you to begin to see God releasing healing into your life. Faith unlocks the impossibilities. Are you hearing me? God is faithful. He is Person's life. Time will not permit me to delve more into this. But when God says wait, wait for God. Time. It may not be the timing that you have. On him. Now, though there may be And effortlessly, he will follow the wind. The wind in the scripture. God in the power of the Holy Spirit. If you will allow God to lead you, he will bear you up. You will soar. You will go beyond. Your energy will carry you. Your wisdom will carry you. And I pray for the grace of God to carry you. Abilities will bear you up in the name of Jesus Christ. And you know one thing with the ego in Deuteronomy 32 from verse 10 to, to 14. The ego makes a very wonderful cozy nest. And there, it will keep the eaglets. 
and will be bringing food and be feeding them. But the day she realizes that the eagles have gotten a strong wing, the eagles may still be waiting for food, for mommy to come and drop food in their mouth. One day, mommy will come back, but not with food. He, she will come back with a fierce face. And when she comes back, what will she do? She will be tearing the nest. And as she tears the nest, she will pick the eaglet and throw out. And the eaglet will cry. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> and will be falling like a stone. If the eaglet didn't spread the wing, the, the mother eagle will go and spread her wing and take it up and fly up again and leave her. Leave her. She will continue to do that until the eagle spreads her wings. I don't know what you are passing through in life. That will not finish you. The Lord is treating you like the eagle mother. Spread their wing. Spread their wing. Spread their wing. Manna will not fall forever. Spread your wing and the Lord will bear you up. Bow your head. The strength of the Lord will come afresh upon you. Courage to face the challenges of the future. May the Lord release upon you. Ask God for something in your life. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Lord, I need strength. Renew me. Touch me one more time. Help me, mighty God. Let your power come afresh upon me. Let me see the move of your power. And we will continue to grow in you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's receive the anthem from the choir.
The Lord be with you. Please may we stand for the Nicene Creed. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. Lord, in your name, let us pray for the church and for the world. Almighty God, promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith, strengthen Henry, our primate, Alexander, our Archbishop and Bishop, other bishops, and Archbishop and all your church in the service of Christ. 
may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory. Muhammad, our governor, give wisdom to all in authority in the ways of justice and peace that people seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy. to us, our families and friends, that we may serve Christ in one another, and Lord, and heal all those who suffer in body and mind, as we remember those who suffer in different parts of our country in Nigeria. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Eternal Father, the giver of life, who has on this day discussed thy servant Alexander Chebuzo to be born into this world, 60 years ago. Assist him in every time of trial. Shield him in trial. Defend him from the assaults of the enemy. In his life, in peace. And may he attain unto everlasting life at the end. Right. Many and happy years to your servant Alexander Chibuzo, whose birthday it is. But he may spend all his life Martha Choma neighbors and friends. Bless Alexander Chibuzo. As their work bind them together in toil and to danger, may their hearts be knit together in a strong sense of their common interest. And may all the department of his ministry grow steadily, steadily in your strength, sense of their common interest. And may all the department of his ministry grow steadily in your strength, Lord, in your mercy. His Grace Archbishop Alexander, we are serving the same God that never changed, and because and humbly ask God to bless you, ask God to bless your family, ask God. Ask God to bless your work done in his name.
against our two governors here in this service. Give us peace in the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hear us as we remember those who have according to your promises, grant us with them a share your eternal kingdom. Rejoice in the fellowship of all your Be with us now. Seats. We want to invite the Archbishop Ibezim to come and. We will invite him to come with his family for prayers. He stands giving. And then we will also pray for the, uh, the governors and our, our nation as they come after him. And then we will proceed with the other things. Thank you. Quickly. Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, to the head of our church of all Nigeria Mrs. Koba, the most Reverend Dr. Henry C. Ndokoba the primate and his wife have spent almost this week with us dedicating projects from place to place. Yesterday, I mentioned to him that I'm sorry to honor him so much because so many projects were dedicated. I want the church, please, to stand up so that we welcome our primates, please. Shall we please stand? We can do better. Please, please be seated. So, my beloved primate and mama, everybody here is so happy and we have welcomed you. How I wish you will stay one more week before you go. Because your salmon have really touched me. I am rest assured that, in fact, if I have planned to die this year, with your salmon now, I know that I will live 120 years. <laughs> and I want the church to say a big amen. Thank you. <laughs> there are so many church fathers that are represented here.
Permit me, please, to mention them very fast because I know the state governors and the distinguished senators and the, all the people, even the oldest traditional ruler in Anambra State, they are here, so I will be very brisk. His Grace, the Most Reverend Boba Lab His Grace Anikwemwa <laughs> The Most Reverend Isaac Mwabia The Most Reverend Edmund Akanya And the most into seniority, the most reverend professor Emmanuel Olisachuku Chukuma OOA. The right, please, all the archbishops that are here, I welcome Mama provinces that are here in Jesus' name. Right, Reverend Duke Akamisoko, the tallest bishop in Church of Nigeria. Right, Reverend Samuel Zamari, the Bishop of Kwoi. Right Reverend Dr. Johnson. My Bishop of Ekitikwara. Right Reverend Prosper Ama, Bishop of Obaru. Right Reverend Zaka and the wife, Bishop of Kano Diocese. Right Reverend Idris, Bishop of Sokoto Diocese. Right Reverend Moses Tabuayen, Bishop of Babalada Diocese. Right Reverend Clenus of Gombe Diocese and his wife. Right Reverend Stanley and his wife, Bishop of Lantan Diocese. Right Reverend Gabriel Elabo and wife, Bishop of Eastern Diocese. Right Reverend Aderoba and wife, Bishop of the Diocese of Jeba. Right Reverend Manasse Okere, Bishop and wife, Bishop of Ukwa Diocese. Right Reverend Aloysius Abo, Bishop of Unsoka Diocese. Right Reverend Olinya, Bishop of Ihamufu Diocese. And also Most Reverend Cyril Odutemu, he left because he's leading pilgrims to
Proverbs. Most Reverend Bennett Okoro Papa Aine Kelege and his wife, the retired Archbishop of Owere Province, and the Bishop. We want to greet in a special way our. of the province of the Niger, retired Archbishop Opara and his wife. Can we clap for them? And if our Catholic brothers and sisters, Bishop Ezo Kafo has prayed for me a few days ago when we visited the elders, Catholic elders that are retired and paid them homage. In the same way, we also visited the Anglican retired priest. Reverend Father Professor Ken. Or Ebunam Prophet. We greet our mothers that are here. Mama, we, re we greet all of you. Grace the Primate, may I take your permission? Here, I want to first of all thank the governor of Anambra State. <laughs> Honorable Professor Charles Soludo, the governor that made the banking industry in Nigeria to be solid. And now is the solution governor of Anambra State. Please. Security has returned to Anambra State. And we want to welcome also the executive deputy, the executive governor of Anam of Delta State who is the son of this church who supports our church in every way when they told us that he's coming we were so humbled and the, he is also the vice presidential running mate of the pdp <laughs> his excellency Senator Ifani Okowa. the permission of the primate, I want to welcome the chairman of this occasion. He has been working from background. He is no other person than Ojelibo of Oka, High Chief Senator Ndi Obi. I don't want to break any protocol. My own brother, the deputy governor, he is, he should have been here, but by the grace of God, he is on a very important assignment by the executive governor. But his wife is represented here. Please welcome my own brother, represented by his wife, Lady Bless you. The deputy governor 
and the wife of the deputy governor is our distinguished senator <laughs> of Anambra Center. Why in Kusiokuike? Senator Uche Ekudife. Mama Anambra will welcome you. With the permission of the Prime Minister, some of these dignitaries that are here, I want to please. Baba, you are welcome. Thank you for your support. Please, you are most welcome to Oka Diocese. By Honorable Justice and also Justice Peace Oti. We recognize this uh, Chancellor of Oka Diocese, the Deputy Chancellor of Oka Diocese, and the Registrar of Oka Diocese, and the, all the legal dignitaries that are here, I salute you. I see Justice Akabo and all the rest, and the, please give me their names. Thank you. You are Grace the primate, the oldest traditional ruler in Anambra State is here. And Papa is 90 something year old and he attends this occasion. We were 97 years old. Papa is 97 year old. Igwe Orizo. Papa, we welcome you. Sitting near him is also Enyukwangwa in Oka here. Papa Enyukwangwa will welcome you. <laughs> the rector of Federal Polytechnic, Oko, is here. We welcome you. Sir Engineer Princely Tio Mwaflugo, we welcome you. And we want to welcome Honorable Dossier, who is representing the us in the House of Assembly, House of Reps, a member of the House of Rep, Honorable Dozier Mwampo, we welcome you. And we welcome also Honorable Engineer Sam Chinedu Mwaso, a member of the House of Rep, Oka, North and South, we welcome you. And we welcome Chief Sir Dr. Victor Ume, we welcome you. Ohamadi Kendibo, we welcome you. Please permit me, Father. We omitted some fathers in the law. The Right Reverend Dr. Chidi Oparajako, the Bishop of Ohaji Ebema. And the Right Reverend Sustenes Eze, the Bishop of Enugu North. And we welcome in Umunochi. Please, as the time goes on, if there are people we have not recognized, we will recognize them. Sa Lady Professor Stella May the Lord be is representing His Excellency Peter B. Okute Ndibo, <laughs> Presidential Candidate of Labour Party. <laughs> and uh, thank you.
प्लीज 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रिंस एमेका एजे इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द एजे फैमिली फ्रॉम उपो प्लीज एंड दे आर हियर प्रिंस डॉक्टर एमेका एजे माय वाइफ वांस टू थैंक ऑल द प्रोफेसर्स फ्रॉम यूनिसी हर हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट the vice chancellor and people from unisic mama is uh, completing her phd in unisic so he wants to all those people he wants to thank them with the permission of the primate i want to invite the primate yes sir The Lord be with you. Amen. Gabi to Mama Ubua. Habiasia. Ndi governors. Nandi ndi nduai ndi nelekotai no bodai Nigeria Senator Sando we will break bread and go Amen So band Yes a grace I am a father who can never ever fail. I am a father who can never ever fail. Jesus is my father.
within me bless his holy name bless the Lord not all his benefits who forgives who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from destruction kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. To you, o God, we give all the glory and honor for your faithfulness that you do not suffer to fail. Your word says they are new every morning. Great, O oh God, in that which you have accomplished in the life of your child. You have kept him through thick and thin, through rough and rainy roads. You have led him these 60 years and accomplished a lot in his ministerial career. Thank you for your sustenance. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercies that have abounded. You blessed him with a wife. You blessed him with children. You blessed him with neighbors, brothers and sisters all around his table. To you be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you have started your son shall not be an abandoned property Lord whatever are the things you are put in his hearts for the remaining years ahead of him in his work as a bishop in his work as an archbishop Lord as he oversees this diocese we ask oh God that your spirit your wisdom and your revelation we be mighty upon him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we pray for long. We pray for good and blessing. Let no sorrows to them. Let them abound upon your son in the name of Jesus. Amen. Surround him, O oh God, as the mountain of Razak. That Jerusalem is round about that, the, the mountain of Zion is round about Jerusalem. Father, be round about him. Amen. Be before him, O God. Be behind him as a rear guard. Your abiding presence will go with him. 
No weapon of the devil fashioned against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, we condemn. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you will increase your unction upon your son to function, to be a useful instrument, to be a blessing to this community. And everyone, oh God, that is under my voice, particularly those who have come out with him, Lord, we pray that you will reach out to them. Lord, you will uh, satisfy them with long life, with good health. Father, that a day like this shall come in their lives when they will celebrate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, loving Heavenly Father, for what you have done today. Lord, our mouths, even if we have 10,000 tongues, cannot sing of your praise. Be thou glorified, be thou exalted, be thou magnified. For in Jesus' wonderful name we are praying. And so, Lord, we commit into your hand our state governors and all the using the government of uh, an umbrella state. And we pray that our political atmosphere this time around will be peaceful in the name of Jesus. Use them mightily to transform Nigeria. Give them wisdom. Give them power. Give them the resources to carry out their duties in the name of Jesus. And give them the passion and compassion for the poor in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray in this political time there will be no violence in the name of Jesus. And the will of people must be done in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant them success in their tenor. Grant them success. Grant them peace, happiness in their time. Grant them good health in that time. I pray that the people will hear their voice and obey the laws. And so, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord protect you and grant you wisdom, peace, and happiness in your office and in your governance. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God be with you. Father, as your servant come before you in thanksgiving, as Noah found favor before you, we anoint him afresh for the years and the time. May he mount up with wings as he go. May he see you move, the Lord of all the earth, and may he follow you. Breathe afresh upon him new strength, wisdom, and the strength to persevere until your will is done and your counsel established. And unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you for the immortal God, to him be praise in his church and upon you be his peace. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. God bless you. Ring and you every morning, you every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, Alleluia.
Just Lord of my God never ceases. His mercies they will come to an end. Let us stand. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. My hands are filled. My hands are filled. With the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. My hands are filled. With the blessings of my God. Some minutes to address us, and after that, we break bread. Let the governor Nambra State.
choir, the Eucharist will be said. We will not chant. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And joy at all times and in all places. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. And now we give you thanks because through him you have given us your servant, Alexandra Chibozo, who marked 28th birthday, 28 years of fruitful, faithful marriage, 38 years of priesthood, 12 years. Of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please kneel and let us pray. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, this gift of bread and wine, May be to us his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension as we look for his coming in with this bread and this cup his one perfect sacrifice accept through him our great high priest this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through him and with him and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you on earth and in heaven, 
We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ, though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. The prayer of humble ourselves, let us say together. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The blood of Christ keep you in eternal life.
The Lord be with you. We shall have some stations up and some stations down. Please go to the one nearest to you and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus.
Keep it on hold till another day.
which the Lord said to him, Do not be afraid, but keep on. No one will be able to harm you for many in this city. be with you. Let us pray. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But I can glory are you. They are praise and glory. Amen. Amen. We want to thank the primate of all Nigeria and the celebrant at Bishop Mwabia. Please with special due respect to His Excellencies that are here, thank you for your patience. We want to thank you. You have made our day today. Can we clap for them, please? <laughs> you have made our day by being here with us till the end of the program. So you have... I want to thank you for that. I want the people to set this table because the cake will be broken. There is no anniversary because the chief host of this celebration. And the, I, that is why I prayed very hard that he will be at the point of breaking the cake before he will address the people. Permit me, please, to recognize Sir Engineer. Sir A.G. Kemwemen is a very resourceful person with all the members of the committee that have put these things together. Shall we please clap for them? And we also recognize the Orca Diocesan Council of Knights, led by Sir Dr. Ima Emelumado. And the ESCO members, the Chairman of the Lady Council of Orca Diocese, Sir Dr. Ima Ezemwaji. And the past president general of Council of Knights, we recognize you. The Council of Knights of the entire diocese in this province are well represented. And the ladies auxiliary, we recognize all of you. Please, can we clap for the ladies, please? And we recognize the Royal Majesty Ezekiel Nebo, Ezekiel the Fourth of Nebo. And his wife, Dem, we recognize Ezekiel. Can we clap for Ezekiel? <laughs> and we recognize my own traditional ruler, Igwe Peter Anugu, Ezuko Mbauku. <laughs> and we recognize Igwe of Abagana. He was. He hosted us in the last Abag uh, synod we had at Abagana, Igwe of Abagana. 
Igwe Sa Mba Malo. Can we clap for him, please? And we recognize the Right Reverend Chuku Nweike, the Lord Bishop of our Granary Diocese. And we recognize the members of Ibezim family. They are here. My senior brother, Dr. Nnamdi Ibezim, Sir Dr. Nnamdi Ibezim, Neba Mulomu Ndiogo Ndiogo Mnile Nobako, Aina Siu Nunile No. And the entire Mbauku community, Aina Siu Nunile No. I recognize the Sachido Obidegu, the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service. We recognize you. Thank you. I will plead with His Excellency, the executive governor of Anambra State, so that he will uh, speak to us before we break this cake because I'm sure. But before then, I will plead on your behalf to allow the chairman of this occasion, Sir Ojelibo, because Ojelibo is here on the ground of chairman in this occasion. And he is here. Ojelibo Oka, High Chief Ndi Obi, please come and pick microphone and speak to your people. Wait. It's, it's gracious, my lords, the bishops, the battery of clergymen here are present. The celebrant, Archbishop Alexander Ibezim, PhD. Your Excellency, our host governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, who, when he was governor of Central Bank, I used to refer to him as. He has now transmitted as governor of the people. I salute you. May I also salute in a special way our dear brother from across the Niger, the executive governor of Delta State, His Excellency Senator Dr. Ifai. Okoa and doubles also as a vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Your Excellency, we welcome you to Oka. I also welcome the wife of the Deputy Governor, Mrs. Ibezim, our distinguished Senator, the Flying Ayom. Uche Lilian Ekunife. <laughs> Members of the night. Yeah, I've seen uh, Senator Ume Hamadike. I salute you. Welcome, Bunoge. Our dear parishioners, guests, ladies and gentlemen. So it is always very good to have the opportunity of the presence of the primate, who is the leader of the Anglican Communion. I have a prepared speech, but I think the primate has said all that we need to know. Those of us who are members of the commission. We know the powerful spirit 
that the good Lord has used the Archbishop to do in this diocese and beyond. He is an undisputed prayer warrior. When he prays for you, you will feel the impact of that prayer. He makes it a point of duty to call us parishioners on phone every month to pray with us. His grace. You shall like the ego as the private. You are our pride. And faithful to your spiritual leadership. Not a time for long speeches. It's just for me as chairman to welcome every one of us to this celebration. Having said this, I have been directed by His Grace the Archbishop to invite His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Delhi, and the PDP Vice Presidential Candidate, to take the stage before the host governor. Your Excellency, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your Excellency, the Governor of Anambra State, and the host of this occasion, Professor Salud. Your Grace, our celebrant, Archbishop. Alexander Ibezim, Your Grace, other Archbishops here present, my Lord Bishops from various parts of this nation, of the Anglican Communion, other fathers in the Lord here present, my dear people of the Anglican Communion and all the invitees who have come to this occasion. I'm glad that I'm here today. The invitation was extended to me when I spoke with your grace, and I promise that I will be here. Thanks to Ndubusi Mwobu, who extended the invitation to me. And I'm truly glad that I'm here today, because in several of our meetings, I've always had contact with your grace, and is somebody that I do admire quite a lot. And coming here today and seeing the love of the people for you, I'm truly very, very pleased. There is no doubt that in our nation, Nigeria, as it is today, it is not easy to shape. With this province, it is well with this thousand. And at such a time as this, all I do whenever I find myself with church leaders is to urge them to continue to pray because the prayer of the righteous does much more than the people think it does. We are politicians, but we also belong to the church of God. But I do know that the more our people pray rather than despair, the more likely this nation will have a turnaround. Because there is nothing the Lord God cannot do. 
And we must rely more on God and allow God to give us a leading in this nation. We do not need to make mistakes. Mistakes have been made in the past when we step out and we are working on human, the, the feeling of the flesh. May the Lord, through the mouths and the voices of our leaders in the church, truly guide us aright, that we may know what is best for this country, and may the will of the Lord God be done. But for today, sir, people are happy with you. They've come to celebrate with you. But for me, I think it's more work for you. It's time to pray more for the people. It's time to pray more for our church. It's time to pray more for our nation. And as the primate did say, the Lord will renew your strength. As you continue to lead prayers for this nation and for the people, as the Lord hears your prayer, may there be a change in this country. And I call on the Lord, please for this nation. I'm very convinced in my heart that the Lord is going to do a new thing, a completely new thing, but it's going to come from God. It is not about what the people feel. It's about what he, Jehovah in heaven, feels. And it shall be done in his time, and it shall be well with us. For the Anglican communion, I thank you for the great job that you're doing. And I thank all of you for coming to support your grace at this very occasion. Coming in and counting over 30 bishops and archbishops, I took time to count, and I said this in great solidarity. And many have gone. And actually, truly, it's very good for the Church of Christ. And I pray that God will enable you as a body to come collectively to seek his face for this nation, and the Lord will hear us. Your Grace, I want to congratulate you on this occasion and pray that God will continue to strengthen you and to make you turn this around even the more in this place. I'm glad you're supporting the governor. I can see changes coming in in Anambra State. I told him, you know, we are next door neighbors, and I believe that it is well with our people because the more we have sanity in this place, the more the economy of the people of the Southeast will grow. We cannot afford to destroy our economy with our own hands. God bless our fathers in the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. With the permission of His Grace, the Archbishop Alexander Chibuzo Ibezim, may I request His Excellency, the Governor of Anambra State, Professor Chuku Masoludo, to take the stage. Um, Jehovah Ono na larola Kelenu Jehovah in all the ma And men the doctors or the on 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 larola the question come from Bolanya anya This is um the primate I think I will rest on all the established protocol. Mine is very simple. If you look at your watches, yeah, so I'm not going to bore you with any long speeches. You know, you are seat belt for the next uh, couple of minutes and so on. But now is the time to cut the cake and eat the cake. No long speeches, eh? <laughs> Mine, too.
one, two things. First is to of the light of the nation, Anambra State. Welcome all of you, all of you, from all the nooks and crannies of, An of Nigeria to Anambra State. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are all welcome. And to His Excellency, my own brother, who said that Asaba and Onish are now turning into like uh, uh, the twin cities of New York and New Jersey. And uh, so getting into the ultra super uh, uh, metropolis, as it were, meshing into one city with the um, uh, the completion of the second Niger Bridge. I want to welcome you to Anambra. And um, you've come in two capacities now. Not just as the governor, my brother, at the other end, you've also come wearing another hat. Uh, that one we will talk about later on. Uh -huh. <laughs> that one we'll talk about later on. Because I want to say this. I know this is a season of politics. We are getting into it. The campaigns will soon hit and everybody campaigning. But the point is that where our politics is local and in the end we are going to articulate ours. And since we are using this uh, occasion of the 60th anniversary of His Grace, as the primate said, this is a moment to really read the, of rededication. I am also going to go on prayers and on um, fasting that those of us in the southeast particularly will actually be enabled and given the wisdom to realize how Nigeria works and how Nigerian politics works. That it's rather than every four years we play this by emotion and the heart that we will learn that politics is played largely with the head. God will help you as His Excellency has prayed, but only those who help themselves. And sooner or later, we will get into that. But I will get there. We will come together. if I as indeed. organization to require extreme hard work it will require building alliances being strategic we must step out and walk abroad by dreaming you have to work for it and at the appropriate time for now i am in prayer i'm in the spirit still praying i will say So no. Tata, if now your grace, but to join in the prayers of the others. You pray for all of us. Today is for us to pray for you and to wish you more grace and more grace, as is, um, uh, the primate has said. I believe in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. I don't forget it. I have back hope that my spirit shall abide in man for 120 years. So today, you've crossed the line. Half line, halfway. How about go half time? So welcome unto the second half. We pray for you for more graces. I don't do much celebration, as you know. Even my own inauguration, no celebration, no form fair. I outlined when I will celebrate when we tackle insecurity and get it to almost near zero, when all the schools work, when our hospitals work, when our roads are fixed, when our days are weeks, then I will celebrate. But not yet. Manankatat, I have not come to celebrate birthdays because every day is a birthday. You know, many people don't know he's my birthday mate, not the same day. He was born, I was born July 28th. We're in the same zone, and he is eight, year, eight days later. 
Obolo July, uh, August 5. But I don't know if we have an um, happy queer. So, I will eat it today. Your Grace, I've come to celebrate 38 years of impactful life. 38 years of impactful life. You started pastoring. Anambra was created August 27. Anambra will be 31 years old. 27, 1991. And by 27th of this month, Anambra will be 31. So you started pastoring seven years later. And then three or three years after you got married, after you created La Nambra. So we use this year. For Anambra, because in and about your pastoral life and about your marriage and all the things that we have come to celebrate, they all, you see the circumference around the bed there of Anambra, that Anambra will rise and continue to rise again. Insecurity will go in Anambra. Known and unknown government have no space in Anambra. We are an estate and we must take back our state in the fullness of it. Today, Abro Gonoga Koko, if I get me, your grace, God will give you the time and the strength. You have only begun. This is second half, and then the remaining years to continue to live an impactful life. You've inaugurated the Polytechnic. That's the second one around here. The Mbaku one is there now, Mbuku, a um, second Polytechnic. Um, church doing their bit and finally I want to come steps Christians we must come together well we must press when you mentioned when you went to see the Catholic team and they prayed for and with you that is the spirit. That's what we have also begun. At the lodge, we have service every day. We have service every day. On Mondays, the Pentecostals lead us in service. On Tuesdays, the Anglicans lead us in service. And then Wednesday, we have the Catholics, and we go on throughout the week. It is the spirit of ecumenism. The body of Christ is one. And that's part of what we've come to celebrate, and we urge you to continue in that stead. I think on that note, uh, your grace, Chukum, and all the graces and um, right uh, reverends, all the bishops here, no to the light of the nation. Thank you, your graces. And then, may we then cut the cake. I'm hungry already. I'm sure you are hungry. Uh, my uh, brother and friend, Otakuo cake, where naba? Bo, Otak cake, where naba? So, can I wear the cake, Abiko? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. With the permission of your grace and resting on the protocol already very well established at this occasion, may I invite the oldest traditional ruler in Anambra State to join. Igwe Orizu, please join. Igwe Orizu. And also the representative of His Excellency uh, Peter Obi, and also members of the National Assembly here present to join too. Your graces and your lordships would also join. 
and also the president of uh, Council of Knights, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, with the permission of the chairman of this occasion, with the permission of the chairman of this occasion and at this event, we are, we are having a five-barreled celebration made possible by the special grace of God, our emancipator, Jesus Christ. With utmost respect, I implore his grace to stretch forth his arm. Your grace. Your grace, please. I'm calling on you to stretch forth your hand to the cake. And your wife. And all of us would also stretch forth our arms and be in the mood for prayer. Your grace, your hand on the cake, please, and your wife, okay? It is by the special grace of God that we are all gathered here today in the land of the living to witness this uh, five-barreled occasion. And I would urge us to spell the name of our emancipator, Jesus Christ. So when we spell Jesus and we have the last uh, alphabet S, you go down the knife and we all shout and herald the name that we have spelled. Your graces, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, give me a joyful day. May I have an electrifying E, a scintillating S, an unstoppable U. And a superlative as Jesus.
the diocesan projects that have been completed and that is that we are doing this symbolically so we'll cut the cake your grace we'll cut the cake in the name of the father and of the son your grace we are going to cut this cake in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost amen thank you Get us in the near hour. Get safe with our own. Get us in the other. Get us in the other. I can't wait for Distinguished the other way. Education. This is a book which is being presented today at this epochal and auspicious occasion. Please, uh, Dr. Sir Emil Madu, you ought to be here. Your own book. Please, take your place. You should be there. Sir. Okay. And I'm sure His Excellency, who loves education, will want to say one or two things holding that book. And after him, I expect that a lot of other persons, members of the National Assembly, Representative of His Excellency Chief Peter Obi and a host of others who want to say one or two things. Please, can I get His Excellency's microphone, please? and thanksgiving and celebration. Those outside ushers tell people that this time is a time for us to dance and come to the altar. And we thank the executive governor of Anambra State for his patience and everything that he's doing for his. Can we clap for our governor, please? Can we clap for him? Thank <laughs> you. 
truth. We appreciate your patience and your solidarity. Offering time, blessing time, dancing time, thank you. And we want to let all of our VIP people know that there is a special tent outside. We are, we are going to take our lunch. So please be here with us for today. Those who band over to you, ushers, offering. We has the final say. Jehovah has the final say.
Thank you for being with us in this service. As you go away from here, go with us with your mighty favor in the name of Jesus. Bless us, keep us, and give the bishop, his wife, and family long life and good health. Bless Oka Diocese, bless it of Nigeria, and grand journey masses to all those who have traveled. And with the peace of God, the personal understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the dead and love of God. And of the Son Jesus Christ, our Lord, and with the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us. I be with you all, now and always. Thank you, Nai Chukuma. Shall we please stand for Oka Dasisan Anthem?
Golopati with quick match. We want to thank the controller of immigration and the lecturers from uh, Mamoka's department in UNISIC. Please join us in the VIP tent. Thank you.
is Right Reverend Ephraim Okechukwi Kako. By the grace of God, I am the Bishop, Anglican Diocese of Amich in the province of the Niger. I want to encourage you to keep watching SNN. It's very wonderful, it's very enriching, it's so blaring. Keep watching and God bless you. The Bishop of Dallas of Lagos West will enjoy this platform at all times. I encourage everybody, be interested, develop yourself, develop your family, call your family together so that everybody will enjoy themselves as we fellowship together. God bless you. Amen. My name is Right Reverend John Lee Oyekme, the Bishop of Akokwedo Anglican Communion and the bishop coordinator of the youth of our national church. Viewers, continue to watch ACNN. God bless you. Hello, fans out there. My name is Johnson Onoha. I'm the bishop of the Diocese of Arochko 